it's a bad run for Newcastle, isn't mm-hmm. it? Out of all the cup competitions, looking like the European places might well be beyond them as well. And I looked, Ali, you know, Newcastle have lost 11 times this season in the league. They only yeah. lost five games yeah. all of last season. So the trip to Blackburn, the FA Cup on Tuesday, Eddie Howe says it's the biggest game of the season. There is a lot resting on it. He's right. I, you know, I wonder what you can read into it when he says there's a lot resting on well, it. Well, he knows. Listen, Eddie Howe's an intelligent man. Very intelligent man. Um, and I think the vast majority of Newcastle supporters will be happy with the job that he's doing. However, you know, there has been certainly right now um, one or two questions getting asked and, uh, and understandable because it happens with every manager and every coach and every team um, I thought they were poor on Saturday um, I looked at the side <clears throat> and that side, that side should be doing better you know it's, it, obviously the, the back four the bottle of Ramento back in for Dan Byrne who's been struggling a little bit they made him you know carry what a story that was yeah. and I thought he did okay I, th- yeah. I thought he had a couple of good saves <clears throat> midfield Longstaff Gumarej and Miley you know no Joel Linton obviously Callum Wilson's out but Alexander Isaac come back Anthony Gordon who I think has been terrific they were poor against an Arsenal team that, that ran over the top of them and didn't give them any opportunity didn't manage a shot in the first half which is the first time in years Yeah, the manner of that defeat would be a little bit concerning for me um, plus marks you know Joe Wallach comes back on Harvey Barnes has been back playing as well so there are plus marks but they need to kind of steady the ship a little bit I don't think there's any getting away from it. Any, they have to steady the ship because, if, as I've said before, with, with a team like Newcastle, Jeff, I don't know whether you agree, you know, it's not going to be plain sailing all the way. They're going to have to take a couple back to go two or three forward again. And at this moment in time, I think, looking at them, they've taken a couple of steps back, but I think it's really important they don't take any more back the way. I think now's the time they have to kind of kick on again. And Eddie Howe is spot on. That's a massive game against Blackburn the Cup. Yeah, and, and the supporters have been very supportive of, of Eddie Howe, have. which is great to see because he has get... done a great job. But I just wonder what the owners are thinking if they go out of the FA Cup at Blackburn. Yeah, that, that, that would, well, that's the unknown. You know, that's the, the dilemma because we don't know what they're thinking. But I tell you what, looking at the Newcastle support, which again, you know, on Saturday was, was tremendous down at the Emirates. It really was. You know, stayed all the way at the end, supported the team all the way at the end, which great fans do. Well, they didn't have anywhere else to go because they couldn't get a train home. What a, <laughs> I'm sorry, what a joke. What a joke. Putting Arsenal against Newcastle on at 8 o'clock on a Saturday night when there are no trains back for Newcastle fans. And it's the TV companies that encourage us to be green who decide on the scheduling of games like that. So nobody can use the train, so they have to go by car or by coach. It's nonsense. Just as, by the way, it was to put Bournemouth against Manchester City at 7.30. Last train back from Bournemouth to Manchester, 6.45. So you can watch the first half before you went back. Um, It's just... Football fans are uh, treated as if they don't matter at all. What would football be like in front of empty grounds? Well, we know. We know what it was like during COVID, didn't we? It was awful. And honestly, football fans have got to be treated with more respect. You're absolutely spot on. And I, for one, thoroughly enjoy that. What can only be described as a proper old-fashioned rant. Yeah. Well, well, but you're right. You're spot on. I'm, I'm looking at those Newcastle fans on Saturday oh. night. It's, it's it's really really poor, isn't it? It's shameful. Yeah. I mean, it was just shameful um, that they should be treated in in that sort of way, you know. And what a blooming miserable night it must have been for them as well, having seen their side not have a shot in the first half, get tonked by four goals to one, and, but, and, and worryingly, you, you know, he, Eddie's got most of his players back now. That's why. That's why I think it's important. You touched getting back to the original question. We don't know what the owners are thinking, right? But I think, I think Eddie Howe has done more than enough to be given the responsibility to to get to the next transfer window and strengthen again. What disturbed me a little bit more than anything was, and we can, we can listen, we can all have bad games and off days, and I think Newcastle had that. I was a little bit concerned about the back four, really. Mm. I think they were kind of. Without being all over the place, Arsenal more than had their match for them. And that's the best I've seen Havertz play in that position. They have conceded 31 in the last 12 yeah, yeah. games.
Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.